The purpose of this video is to help you understand how nitric oxide therapy can help improve sexual function. And while most of this conversation is going to focus on male sexual health, nitric oxide therapy also benefits women in helping them to have a more satisfying experience. For men, nitric oxide is absolutely necessary for an erection. In fact, the bottom line is this, no, no, no sex. The capital N-O stands for nitric oxide. No nitric oxide production and there will be no erection. Little nitric oxide production and you will have a weak erection. Proper nitric oxide production helps you maintain proper sexual function. So let's talk about a tissue that is absolutely critical for this to occur. Now you might be thinking of the obvious organ most closely associated with male performance in the bedroom. We'll talk about this organ in a little bit. For now, we're going to introduce you to another tissue that most people have never heard of, but is critical to sexual function. It's called the endothelium, and it's this tissue that produces nitric oxide from the semi-essential amino acid L-arginine. Scientists once thought that your endothelium was just an inert membrane whose only function was to help keep your blood in your bloodstream. However, research has clearly shown your endothelium to be a multifunctional tissue involved in metabolic, immunological, and cardiovascular health. Most vascular researchers now believe it's your endothelium that ultimately determines the health of your cardiovascular system. And your cardiovascular system plays a critical role in sexual performance for both men and women. Now let's address male anatomy. The male organ contains two cigar-shaped structures called corpora carbonosa that run the length of the organ. Arteries bring blood into these two structures with veins carrying the blood away from them. In a non-erect state, the blood flow from the arteries is restricted while the veins are open to drain the blood away. When a man becomes aroused, the arterial blood vessels open up so that pressurized blood can enter the corpora carbonosa the veins leaving the male organ are constricted. This action traps the pressurized blood, allowing for the size increase in full erection. This means that there are two competing functions at play. Vasodilation of the blood vessels in the male organ to create the needed blood flow to produce and maintain an erection. Vasoconstriction of these blood vessels so that a male doesn't walk around all day long with an erection which would be very uncomfortable and a bit embarrassing. Nitric oxide therapy addresses the vasodilation side of sexual function. Drugs like Viagra address the vasoconstriction side of this dynamic. Here's how the vasodilation side of the equation works. The brain sends a signal to a particular nerve fiber. The nerve fiber ends in a NAC nerve cell located in the artery near the point where blood flow needs to be changed. This NAC nerve cell creates nitric oxide. The NAC nerve cell releases nitric oxide into the blood and surrounding cells. The nitric oxide acts as a signaling molecule to stimulate an enzyme called guanulate cyclase. This enzyme keeps the nitric oxide from causing free radical damage by using it with GTP to produce a chemical called cyclic guanosine monophosphate or CGMP. CGMP tells the smooth muscle of the arterial blood vessel to relax. This allows for increased blood flow. There is another enzyme called phosphodiesterase or PDE that deactivates the CGMP by turning it back into GTP. When the CGMP is deactivated, the smooth muscle returns to its original constricted state. Confused? Think of a cycle. Guanulate cyclase turns GTP into CGMP, causing smooth muscles to relax. PDE turns the CGMP back into GTP, causing the smooth muscles to return to their constricted state. Nitric oxide turns the cycle on from a nerve pulse generated in the brain. CGMP is produced as long as the brain is sending signals that initiate the production of nitric oxide. 
nitric oxide is produced as long as there is an adequate supply of the amino acid L-arginine and no damage to the surrounding endothelial cells. The most common reason men suffer from erectile dysfunction is lack of nitric oxide in the blood vessels of the corpora carbonosa. When a man is aroused, his brain does its job by sending the proper signal to the nerves located in his male organ. The nerves produce nitric oxide, but the amount of CGMP produced is not enough to maintain an erection since nitric oxide production is limited by damaged endothelial cells and the lack of the amino acid L-arginine. To increase blood flow to the male organ, you have three options. First, increase the amount of nitric oxide produced in the arterial blood vessels. Two, increase the amount of CGMP produced in response to the nitric oxide. Three, eliminate the PDE that converts the CGMP back to GTP so that the CGMP builds up. This causes the smooth muscles of the arterial blood vessels to properly relax and fill with blood. Viagra uses option 3 to achieve an erection. Why PDE? Because there are 11 different kinds of PDE in your body, but only one type of PDE found in the male organ. That type is called PDE5. Talk about creative design. All Pfizer had to do was find a chemical that would selectively block PDE5 and nothing else. This chemical is sildenafil citrate. Here's how it works. A male takes Viagra. The sildenafil citrate is absorbed into the bloodstream and carried throughout the body. The sildenafil citrate attaches to the PDE5 enzyme in the male's organ to disable it. The male is sexually aroused, and the man's brain does its job. A signal is sent to the nerve cell in the male's organ which produces nitric oxide. The nitric oxide turns on the cycle creating CGMP to relax the smooth muscles of the arterial blood vessels. Since the PDE5 is disabled, the CGMP doesn't break down but builds up allowing the arterial blood vessels to fully dilate. The man achieves a full erection. Great stuff when it works perfectly, but there are a few problems. Almost every drug made by man has side effects and Viagra is no exception. Viagra blocks PDE5 but can also affect PDE6 which is used by the cone cells in the retina. This can affect color vision. For some it changes the way they perceive green and blue colors. For others they see the world in a bluish tinge for several hours. Because of this pilots cannot take Viagra within 12 hours of a flight. The other two main side effects are headaches and flushing. The blocking of PDE5 can spill over to other areas of the body causing uncontrolled vasodilation. Because Viagra is a prescription drug, rather than an over-the-counter drug, always consult a qualified physician before taking any Viagra-like product. We're not discounting the benefits of Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra to help men with erectile dysfunction. All three, when properly used under the guidance of a qualified physician, have been able to change poor sexual function into good sexual function. But understand that these drugs are treating a symptom more than the underlying problem. For most men, the underlying problem is the insufficient production of nitric oxide to help start and maintain proper vasodilation. The creation of nitric oxide occurs in the endothelial cells that line the blood vessels. When the endothelial cells are damaged by high blood pressure, high sugar levels, cholesterol, and smoking, this decreases nitric oxide production. That's why your physician may ask you if you're experiencing any erectile problems. It's an early warning sign that other potential health concerns could affect your overall wellness and cardiovascular health. High blood pressure causes direct damage to the endothelium, yet nitric oxide therapy helps to prevent this damage. Nitric oxide is your body's most powerful vasodilator. What this means is that nitric oxide causes the smooth muscle of your vascular wall to relax, which helps to keep your blood pressure in a normal range. 
Thus, nitric oxide directly addresses a male's ability to have an erection as well as one of the major causes of ED, that being high blood pressure. High blood sugar and LDL or bad cholesterol can cause direct damage to the endothelium. This damage can lead to plaque formations and the disease called atherosclerosis. This cardiovascular disease causes the blood vessels to narrow to reduce blood flow. Besides increasing your risk for strokes and heart attacks, this leads to poor performance in the bedroom. Nitric oxide, when at sufficient levels in the bloodstream, will help to repair damage done to the endothelium and keep it free from plaque formations and calcification. Also, nitric oxide keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together. This helps to prevent blood clots to naturally reduce your risk for a stroke or heart attack. Regarding smoking, nicotine directly damages the endothelium. If you smoke, the only good health choice is to stop. For men, every puff you take directly damages your sexual performance. Maybe for that reason alone, you'll stop smoking. Bottom line, a healthy endothelium and proper nitric oxide production work together for improved sexual function. Nitric oxide therapy is learning how to improve the health of your endothelium to help it optimize its ability to properly produce nitric oxide. Which brings us back to this miracle molecule called nitric oxide. You cannot live without nitric oxide. Your cardiovascular system could not function properly without nitric oxide. The sexual health of your body revolves around the production of nitric oxide. And much of your nitric oxide production is dependent upon the health of the endothelial cells that line your blood vessels. As we've shared with you, the proper application of nitric oxide therapy can have a profound benefit on helping both men and women naturally improve sexual function. It's with this in mind that we implemented the Million Lives Project. Our goal is to help a million people or more understand how they could effectively use nitric oxide therapy to significantly improve their cardiovascular health. How nitric oxide therapy can reduce your risk for cardiovascular health concerns like high blood pressure, diabetes, sexual and cognitive function issues, and poor wound healing. One of the primary ways to do this is through our ebook, which is titled Empower Your Heart with Breakthrough Nitric Oxide Therapy. To help us accomplish this goal, we would ask you to do one or more of the following. First, if you found value in the information contained in this YouTube video on nitric oxide therapy, then please share it with others. Second, if you want to apply nitric oxide therapy to help you address your cardiovascular health concerns or the concerns of family and friends, then please contact the person who shared this information with you. They can help you obtain our ebook on nitric oxide therapy. Third, if you have a passion for helping others improve their health, then consider joining our Synergy family. Part of our mission statement is blessing lives with better health. If this interests you, then contact the person who shared this information with you. Thank you for watching and being a part of the Million Lives Project as we help others understand nitric oxide therapy and how it can be a natural way to improve all aspects of their cardiovascular health.